I am not mad, Masa Media. There's a, I get, you know, I should show you some of the email I get. Uh, let's see. I'll read you. I'll read you just a, a typical sample letter. This is from Hal. Dear Leo, I've been a fan for many years, but I think with your latest anti-Apple decision, I think has taken your resentment of Apple way over the edge. First, let me say that when you broaden your horizons, as your programming took advantage of Windows and Android software and hardware marketplace, I thought it was good business. When you started knocking Mac during Mac Break Weekly, I thought a good show on the Mac should look at the product from an honest point of view. A number of times your displeasure with Apple sounded personal, especially just before Apple events. But always I wrote it off as my problem, not yours. However, now you've just called the technology press who attends Apple events the tame press, and you've announced a serious puppet spoof of Apple executives announcing their new products. How childish and petty can you get? You've just proven Apple not only right for not inviting you, but for ignoring you as well. Why should they invite a card-carrying member of the lame press? I mean, it's business for goodness sake. Has Apple hurt you so much that you've allowed both your Sarah Palin and your middle finger to pop out and wave in the breeze? Sorry, partner, but it saddens me to say I think you've lost the trail. Hal. <laughs> So I just said, I might have lost the trail, but at least I haven't lost my sense of humor, Hal. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's the irony is that, you know, I only use Apple computers when you know, given the choice. I don't use an iPhone. I do think the Samsung, uh, I think Android's superior right now, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and believe me, it is the tame press. Apple does not invite anybody who's critical of Apple. They really don't. And I'm not bitter because, to be honest, I can't go. Even if they invited me, we do. I think we do a much better job.